Welcome back to a new video. My name is Ross and today we are going to make the inside of this building. So on my last video of Minecraft we made this magnificent build. This is a really small build actually but we did a full block by block tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to do the inside. So a lot of people were wondering how to make the interior design of this building itself because it's pretty empty, not gonna lie. Of course this building is pretty big if it is like this, completely hollow, but I think that a lot of people are wondering how to make a beautiful house from the inside just like the beautiful outside. So that's what we are going to do today. Today we are going to do the interior of this building. Now before we begin I want to say that I'm going to make this video a little bit different than I normally do. Normally I plan things uh, out in advance. but Right now, I actually have no idea what I'm going to do with this building. So, in other words, we are going to do this together. And I will just show you what I do and uh, how I would design this in interior. And of course, it's just a nice idea. Uh, you can change it in the way you would like to have the inside. But this, this is just the way I would do the inside. I'm not the best interior designer, but let's see what we can make of it. So if this is the first video you see of my channel then please check out the other videos. I have a video about this building itself. Um, if you want to help me out please consider to subscribe because it helps me out a lot. I really try to get to a thousand subscribers because uh, hopefully I can one day do this um, YouTube job <laughs> as a full time job and just uh, use a lot of my time to make these kind of beautiful buildings for you guys. So any help is really welcome so thank you for everybody that supports me so when we walk in this is the first thing what we are seeing it's pretty empty i know so as i said i'm going to do this a little bit different normally i know what to do and what kind of design i want i have some ideas what i want to do with this building but i actually didn't plan anything out yet so this is just like completely uh on the spot that we are going to build and hopefully you guys like it so the first thing this is the front door so of course we need a floor and the first very first thing i want to do is actually uh, do the inside of this part because this is of course a nice place for i don't know a piano for example or something like that it's a nice place so i want to keep this open and not like make a layer on here so we just keep this uh, what I'm going to do is I make a border of the smooth quartz block and I'm going to fill this place in with just smooth quartz because I want to have this I think uh, just completely white. I don't know what I'm going to do for the flooring for the rest of the building but I know that I want to have this like nice and white. 
and then uh, the normal floor will be just where the grass is right now because i want like to have a, a nice little step upwards to to get to the piano or something so we are going to make a piano here i think that would be cool i i will have to look into a nice design of that but yeah this is a cool place for a nice piano so first of all let's do the floor i guess by the way sorry for the lighting it's not really that light in here i know uh, i can't really change that it's pretty dark in this house yeah i can turn off the shaders but then everything looks pretty ugly <laughs> so i will keep on the shaders but yeah it's a bit dark so hopefully you can see it uh, on youtube because i know youtube wants to darken the screen a little bit so for the floor i also want to keep it pretty like light color um so we have the new calcite block which looks like marble uh we have some smooth quartz of course Mm. <laughs> I, I already don't know what I'm doing actually so I, I will try some some things so I honestly didn't really know what to do with the flooring so I have just made it into smooth quartz yeah I really didn't know what to do so uh, the flooring will be done later I think what we first are going to do is doing the walls and maybe the layout so I think the best thing that we can do is figure out where we want to to have the stairway and how the stairway will look and the second layer and where we will stop with the second layer so I thought let's see where I think on this block over here this should be the next layer because if you then stand on here if this is your your flooring then you look out of the window um, but maybe I want to make it into two blocks so you have a ceiling color and a flooring on top so for example this is your ceiling and this is your next flooring where you will stand on anyway so this will be the flooring then or the next level floor and what I had in mind, because this is a half circle, why are we not gonna make a half circle over here? So what I mean with that is something like this. So the floor will be over here, or the ceiling actually, it's the ceiling. The ceiling will be over here. You will stand over here, and this is what you see. And then you can look down, and from down here you have like a nice little circular shape that when you stand here over at the like uh, piano you can look over here and you see this floor and you also see the next floor i think that's a good idea i, I think that looks really good so over here on the side and over here i will just do a strip of uh the blocks on here because the wall actually will be over here maybe we should do that first before we are carving out this part because then the shape will be different in that case so instead of doing that we are first going to make this wall and this side of the wall and think i will just keep it white because that's easy so if you build my buildings and you have followed me for a little while you will know how i most likely build up the houses i normally use a lot of layers for the windows so you have like the, the outer wall maybe it's better to show you from here so you have the outer wall, uh, which is the brick color you see. Then we have the detail work, uh, the framing of the window. The window itself is within the uh, wall you will see. But also on the inside, you will then get these bricks. So what I normally do is I also uh, do a layer on the inside with the desired color you want on your walls. So for now I will keep everything white, but later down the line I will maybe change it up for some different color. For now I will keep the walls white. So what I do is I just build up against the outer wall and just go around the window like this. And then later I maybe use banners for the curtains and you can also do something within here. For example, over here we have these trapdoors, so you could use trapdoors and maybe like make a grid pattern over here if you like. It's not really needed in this case, but that's something I normally do. So uh, just some cool ideas. So I'm going to build up the wall and I'm only going to do it around where I see the bricks. So over here, for example, I'm not going to do anything down here. I'll just keep it over here and then 
same as on that side i will do the outer wall like this and also around the window like this and just fill this place in so you get this and it looks really like <laughs> it looks really boring at the moment because it's really white everything is completely white and there is nothing that much to see uh, but I do think it's a good idea to do this everywhere so I'm just going to make the wall these white blocks all the way around and also around the windows like here or around the door all the way down and just do all these walls of course go around the windows uh, and over here as well around the window like here over here and then like this and as you can see now you don't you have no problem with the trapdoors anymore that are sticking out they don't stick out anymore because of the walls so now you get this nice big grid pattern which you normally cannot have in your windows that's why i use these trap doors because it looks really cool from the inside but also from the outside so yeah around the windows and just completely fill all these walls with the smooth quart block that's the first thing i'm going to do and then later down the line i maybe change up some colors of wall but for now i will just keep it white oh also a good idea uh, which i also did in my violet evergarden build is if you want to have or give the idea that your window is actually bigger than it is just break the lower block so maybe that's a good idea i will do that on every window just break the lower block and now it looks like the window is way longer than it actually is because the glass is just three blocks but now it looks like it is four blocks so so that also gives a cool effect by doing this so i will do this with every window just breaking the one block over here and now it doesn't really look that weird or uh, it's strange with the floor height and the window height. I think I will do that. So I did all the walls right now. So it looks like this. It is a little bit like a hospital. <laughs> I know it's really bland. It's really boring to look at. It's really white. Uh, don't worry. I will maybe use some uh, elements of the outer wall. Like the brick color. Stuff like that. Uh, but for this for, for right now i just keep everything white because it makes it way easier to to see where i'm heading with this building so that's why and now we are going to keep on going with this side so as i said i want to have like a uh, like half circle or some kind of circle over here as well so that you can look from this point towards this level and the level above so let me recreate it again. So I guess something like this. This looks really good. So um, this will be the half circle. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm making some pillars around here. Just like the outside as you can see. Um, to bring that back into the inside. Uh, just for the lower level over here. I think that would look really cool. So I ended up with something like this. So what I did is I swapped out the top block for ha for slabs and then uh, use some pillar blocks uh, over here and then I just extended it with a direct wall all the way down to the floor so that looks like this and that actually looks really cool so this level will be the next floor or actually the ceiling I guess so let's just do this that you get a good idea of what I mean like so so as you can see this white that you see over here that's the ceiling color and then up here we will probably use some slabs for the next floor color so over here we'll use slabs not not trapdoors but slabs like wood or something uh, for the next uh, layer so that's I think the idea of this building I think that would look really really cool I think I will use a lot of inspiration from the Violet Evergarden building that you can see over here the I made this a few uh, months ago or maybe already a year I don't know <laughs> but this is such a cool building and 
I still love it. Also the inside. So I will I will do a lot of this, what you see over here. And probably use this as inspiration for the build that we are doing right now. What I will do though is use the same banner design over here for the curtains in the house that we are building right now. So I think I will use that curtain design and also the color green. So yeah, uh, probably we'll do that. So I changed it up a little bit again and what I did was um, the layer that we used for the normal flooring I will use that uh, or I mean a ceiling I will use that as flooring so what I did is I used some quartz block around here where you have these slabs or actually this is a slab this is a full block if I didn't do that and I used the flooring then you will see the wood so that's why I used the smooth quartz to hide that so this is what I'm going to do all the way to the other side. So this is the floor color you will see where you stand on. This is the ceiling color which will be just completely white. Uh, and now from this point it looks like this which is pretty cool. And the reason I did this is because these are now full blocks. So no half slabs or slabs I mean. Because that makes a lot, lot of uh, difficult things. You cannot really place anything on a slab. So. And that's why I wanted to keep this uh, as flat as possible on a, just a normal block. And the reason being is that I really want to use some um, fence over here to like block this off. And just a cool um, idea I think that you can also look from the top uh, down, from top over here down to the people or the person that is playing the piano or something like that. So uh, I will look into a cool fence idea for up here and I think I will probably do some more work on this side I think I will just completely do this because we are not gonna change anything over here so what I'm going to do is uh, do the roof a little bit make a chandelier and over here I will make a nice border Let's start with the roof. I think it would be really cool to keep this color, to keep the blue color. It looks really awesome. Uh, but I think we also need to border some stuff up like this glass. The glass looks a bit out of place in some, in some places. And also we have this. So I will try to work that away and keep this color inside and then we will hang a nice chandelier. So this is what we ended up with. So what I did was this, I made it a little bit rounder on the edge and made a stairway with some slabs so you can walk upwards. This flooring will maybe change so that the stairway is actually different than the flooring down here. I also changed it up for glass, the uh, railing or the, the border because it is a little bit more clean and you can actually look downwards instead of that you have this huge like carpet in front of your eyes. And I also did some modern kind of um, chandelier which looks really cool. And made this more into an arch. So now everything is cleaned up over here and um, everything is ready for like the small little details. But that's something we do at the end of uh, making the interior. So. For now, I will leave this like uh, this, how it is right now. And I think we will just completely fill this floor in and then look where we want the stairway because we still don't have a stair uh, leading upwards and we really need that. So let's see what we can do. Before the video continues, I want to take a moment to talk about something we all have heard about by now, I think, on the news and YouTube and social media which is the passing of the amazing, kind-hearted and well-loved Minecraft idol Technoblade. Now I know it's not my place to talk about him, after all I'm just a st starting YouTuber that hardly nobody knows about. But he and I had one thing in common which is the overwhelming love for Minecraft. And I have a huge respect for everything he has done for the Minecraft community and the countless lives he has changed over the years. He was and still is a true inspiration and I still got much to learn from him. So 
I hope I can become such an inspiration to others one day too. One thing is for sure, Technoblade can never be replaced. All my support and thoughts go to his family, friends and loved ones. A link of his last video will be in the description. And Alex, thank you for everything. So right now I ended up with this. And first of all I turned off shaders just to show you what I'm doing because of course with shaders on uh, it's pretty dark so you will not really see what I'm doing. So I, I just turned it off for a second so you actually can see what I'm doing. Second of all I made the floor and the ceiling. So the ceiling is just white as you can see it's all really white at the moment. But don't worry we are, we are going to change that. Uh, but yeah, I made the floor uh, over here and I kept this open. And the reason I kept this open because we have a nice uh, skylight over here. And I don't want to ruin that. I don't want to keep, uh, put that away because yeah, it's, it's a part of the building. So I want to use that. And I was thinking like, how are we going to do this? Because we have a window over here. And we have a window over there and I want to make sure I use both of them but um, I also want to keep it open and not too open otherwise you don't really have any place to live. If everything is completely open then yeah you don't really have a living room or anything. So I, I want to create rooms, rooms as well so uh, I came with up with the idea of making a oval shape or a circular shape here in the middle and the stairwell will be on both sides uh, going upwards and then you can also walk over here to the other side and also over there so this window has a purpose and uh, yes we will cut cut this window off for a little bit uh, but if yeah it won't be completely cut off so from the outside it will still looks the same uh, from the inside yeah we have to make some blocks over here that goes uh, past this window so up here you will see this part and down here you will only see this part that's sadly the way it will be um, but well let's see what we can do so that's the plan for now uh, making a circular shape or an oval shape and then make some nice stairways on both sides going upwards to this level also for the people who are wondering what the build will look like without shaders this will it will look like this yeah i know with shaders it's way way better it looks way more um way, it looks way nicer because of the shadows and everything but still it's not really that bad honestly for without shaders so if you play without shaders then uh, yeah, it will look like this and it actually is not that bad, honestly. Anyway, let's keep going. So as you can see, I made a huge uh, oval shape into the floor, I curved it out and now there is much more light within this building. So that's really good. So I made some little detail. I used the new copper blocks. I really liked them actually. They look really, really good. So I used the wax copper uh, slab, I think. Yeah. And I also tried the blue one, but this one is actually the best. And it looks really cool. It's a little small detail, um, but it really fits. So yeah, I like it. So this will be the opening. Maybe it's a bit too big. I don't know, but we will see. Uh, I will do the stairways up here and up there both of them go up uh, on, on both sides I mean and then I will also give it some pillars because it looks like it is not strong enough to keep it like it is right now and then we proceed to make the rooms and maybe change the flooring change the walls and do some lighting and details and stuff like that so yeah let's let's make the stairs first by the way of the oval design this is three, three blocks and two, two, one, one. These are three again, then one, one, two, two, three, and then again. So that's the whole shape of the oval if you want to make it yourself. 
So I made a stairway design which looks like this. So it looks really weird right now because I only use stairs as slabs and I use smooth quartz. Uh, so I probably will change the blocks out for wood instead. And I will also fix the back of the stair because it looks really weird. I never made a stair that had to fit within the oval shape. A circular shape is mm, a little easier, but an oval shape stair is like really, really, really hard. So I really did my best to, to make it look anything like a uh, an oval stair of an oval shape in the, in the form of a stair and really hard it's really it really is hard so um it, it doesn't look bad but it also doesn't look really good <laughs> in my opinion so i will try to change it and fix it a little bit but this is the best i could do so i'm happy with it i will keep it like this i think Anyway, I will change up the stairs a little bit, make this a little bit better, and then see how it ends up, I guess. So, let's keep going. So, a little bit of an update. I did the stairs. <laughs> I changed the block out for some wood uh, instead, because otherwise everything will be way too wide. And I did a little bit of a, we call it a tree in, in Dutch, weirdly enough, a, a stair tree. So the, the side of the stair, the strongest part of the stair. So I made that just to make it a look a little bit more robust. And it actually looks pretty good. I'm not really that fond of the stair. It's a really big stair because if you look from up here, it actually takes a lot of space and that's fine. Uh, maybe if you build this house on, uh, for yourself and you want more room, I guess or I suggest to just make one stair and make it one over there in the corner or something. And that way you have way more space for rooms. But because I really like the open kind of feeling, the open space, the open area, um, I thought a um, um, stair in the middle is way, way cooler. And actually I, I really like it, so it looks really cool. I made some fence around it so you don't fall down uh, on the ground, which is not a good idea. And then you have the balcony over here, which we already saw. So yeah, that's for now the progress that I did. Um, if you want to make this yourself, uh, please pause the video and just look at how I placed the blocks. And that way you see a little bit of how to make this stair if you want to make it yourself. I don't suggest to make this because it's, as I said, it's pretty hard and it's not the most beautiful thing. But if you want to, then pause the video and try to recreate it. It's not that hard. Uh, you should be able to make it just by looking at this video. So, okay, so that's the stair done. Uh, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to um, focus on the lower level, this this area over here. I will probably make a little uh, wall over here to break it up a little bit, um, or maybe oh we'll see, we will see, we will see, and then we will make uh, some cool rooms over here and see what we can do. So. First of all, I will uh, section it off by making walls and making rooms. And when I done that, then we are going over to the details and everything. So, okay, so that's the next step. So passing forward, we did something again. So first of all, over here, I made a little window or a little border. Uh, so to keep it a little bit spacious, what I did is I made a little bit of glass on the back over here. So you can still walk from one place to the other place. You also have these corridors or these, um, well, what do you call it? These arches, these archways you can walk underneath between those two stairs. So you can go from one room to the other room. Uh, also over here, I made a little wall, which is also one big arch. And that probably I will do the same thing over there. So you can also walk over here. So basically this house is split in two sides, that side and this side. Uh, over here what I did is I made a little uh, fireplace. I maybe will make it smaller. I think it's a little too big, but it's centered on one block. So that makes it a little dif difficult to like make it smaller. But we will see what I can do about it. 
So this is just a placeholder. Oh yeah, one thing uh, that is pretty important, what I did which makes an incredible difference between uh, what you just saw and, and right now, is this little border. So I made a border of wood and then on top of that I used these pillars, these pillar blocks. And that made such a big difference. If you make a really old styled building, use these borders. They look really good for some reason. I don't really know why, but they appeal really. This is a nice, it has a nice appeal, a nice um, contrast, which I don't know, it looks really good. So yeah, it's, it's really cool. I really like it. I also started to change the roof a little bit give it a little bit more detail and then over here we can make some some like some chandeliers or some lights probably this will be the like the the living room and then over there i probably probably will do the kitchen or the kitchen will be in this corner uh it's actually too small corner so i think i will do the kitchen over here in this corner and over here i will do the living room and over here will, will be just empty space with some seats and a nice place to sit or something like that. I will see what I can do. Uh, and then over here of course I still have to make the piano uh, which is the perfect place for it. To give some tips, if you have like a big open space and you want to keep it really open like, then big arches, big uh, open areas will always work. It's nice if you can divide rooms. But in such a way that it is not just a wall with a door. And, and what I did to do that is make a little bit of a wall. But made the, the pathway, the, the way to pass from one room to the other room really big. So instead of just one door, I made a really big arch over here. Same goes over here, a big arch. I uh, made some glass so you can actually look to the back which is really cool and you can see a little bit of a cool house that I'm building on so so yeah if you are interested in what I'm building next then I suggest go subscribe because you don't want to miss it out so yeah that's what we are going to do so I will make the living room I will make the kitchen probably I will do the roof a little bit make some lights and probably get all the uh, actual uh, curtains down. I really want the curtains down. I think that will help so much to do the curtains. So that's the first thing I will do and then I will uh, proceed to do all the rooms. So let's go. So I did my best to create something really cool and let's start from over here. So over here we have the entrance and what, the first thing that I actually did was change up the flooring and also make sure that I make a cool uh, wall design and also of course the curtains. So the first thing that I did is actually hang up the curtains. Then I did a little bit of the roof design. I made sure that it has some like indents and some kind of cool, I don't know, cool border. So it's a little bit of that old style uh, roofs or uh, ceilings that they always try to decorate and I tried to do that as well. I used a lot of brick. I made the actual uh, fireplace a little smaller which looks way better. Uh, then I put some bricks everywhere in the corners as well. I made a bookshelf over here with some other bricks. I used the beehive as flooring so it has a cool little texture on top of it so this will be the living room of course then we have of course a nice fireplace and then over here will be the kitchen which is a flooring of the lodestone which is a cool flooring block i don't know if i should use it in this way because well uh it looks good but also i, I don't know maybe it's a different block is better but for now i will keep it like this some chandeliers as i said and some extra lighting now I made the same arch over here on this side. I made sure to on the roof do the uh, like border and these are just stairs, upside down stairs as you can see. Put them around and I did that everywhere, not over here yet. I, I didn't make this side of the house yet, but on this side I basically am done with all the walls and details apart from the kitchen and the living room, but for the rest everything is kind of done. So now I'm working on this uh, pathway uh, or passageway, I 
make the same flooring design over here and that will, I will do the whole way over here uh, connect it over there again uh, over here we have a nice red carpet and also I took away the copper the copper blocks that I had over here it didn't really look that good anymore uh, with the design so I took that away uh, it looks a lot better right now so but it looks really cool I, I really am happy with the design for for now it looks really really awesome so I think I did really good job down here and it's really like spacious as well and it feels really home like it feels cozy in a way so I think that means that I did a pretty good job so let's keep on going and let's do this side as well the first layer is done I completely did the whole design on the bottom floor the top floor is still not done yet but for now I did the one down here so let's walk through it so when you open the door the first thing you see is a little uh, like a rug for your feet I, I don't know if it's called a rug but one of those things that you have to clean your feet on uh, then you get in and we have a nice uh, we have a nice entrance with the stairs of course a big chandelier and of course a little statue so this is <laughs> this supposed to be a little statue on a block uh, it's not perfectly in the middle I don't know how to get it in the middle but yeah so it's just a little statue um, this part I already showed you uh, like the walls and everything but the inside is now completely done so we have a little couch over here a big um, well, well not little it's a big couch with a little table uh, of course the chandelier you could hang a TV on here or something like that I didn't do that but you you could if you want then over here we have the bookshelf and we have a big rug over here in front of the fireplace which is off at the moment and I did also do the kitchen so of course the chandelier over here we have a nice fridge over here with a, like a water dispenser or like an ice cube dispenser something like that uh, we have some blast furnaces over here is well nothing but you could place any kind of block down here so if you want a crafting table you could like swap it up for a crafting table then we have a recipe book uh, we have some water over here and of course the place where you are baking your food we have some drawers over there and that's basically the whole kitchen so then we have the other side as well you can walk behind the glass you can walk between these two doors or between these two it's really open I really like it this way and then we have also a place to sit on right here you can maybe make a rug as well over here but I didn't do that so a nice sitting place over here then we have this open area and we of course have the dinner table which I placed in this corner over here with a little fireplace as well just simply a dinner table looks really cool you can also swap it up for like um, uh, carpets if you like so if you want a different color you can also place just carpets and of course we have a nice piano and I did do a piano design uh, back a few, a few videos ago I did some interior designs and I made my own version but this is a little bit of different version uh, if you want a tutorial about how to make this simple piano design then sure let me know because then I will make a tutorial about it it's not really that hard the hardest thing is the map because you need to make a map for the basically the tiles over here if you don't want to or you don't have the time for that then you can just use white carpet instead and it also looks a little bit like a piano so but this looks the most realistic we have of course books over here and yeah it's a nice grand piano and it fits perfectly within this place and we have the nice chandelier again really cool actually I really love the design I I'm not really the best at interior designs but I do like this one and I really try to do my best and I think for the first episode I will leave it at this at just the uh, lower part my channel is completely made especially to give people some inspiration and yes I do tutorials but I like to see that you guys get to learn something and also learn from your own experience because that's really important actually so 
that's why I actually made this channel. And I hope I can actually help you out with building your own houses and your own designs. So this is just a preview. This, this is just an idea what you could do. But I really love to see if you are being able to make your own kind of design. In the next episode, we will do the, uh, the upstairs or the, the top layer. Uh, because this is not done yet, as you can see. Uh, so for now, I will leave it at this. Otherwise, the video will be way too long. Uh, so the next time we will do the second layer. So if you want to see that, then please hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, you will miss out on it. So that's it for today. I hope you liked and I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit different than I normally do. Next time we will do the top layer. Now before I let you go, I want to say one thing. I am busy with a really, really cool project, which will have multiple episodes and me maybe even seasons. So it's really cool. I, I cannot wait to show you guys. So, but that's really cool. So please, um, if you don't want to miss out on that special, uh, special episode and special uh, season, uh, what I'm going to do, then please consider to subscribe because it helps me out a lot. We are really close to a thousand subscribers. So hopefully we can actually make it to a thousand. That would be incredibly cool. So if you want to see more of these kind of buildings and you want to know how to make them, then please then consider to stick with me and stick with the group that we already made. So it's really fun to see that you guys really enjoy these videos and that you like my design. So it helps me out a lot. And if you really like this, then I hope you will uh, help me out to actually grow with youtube that would be really cool so anyway so thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you in the next video